Hi guys, Garth here. Welcome back to Cosplay Extreme. I'd like to welcome all the new subs who have uh, joined us for the ride of cosplay and welcome. This morning when I checked, we were at, guess it, 999 subs. So when this gets uploaded, we'll probably be at 1,000. And I tell you what, if we hit 1,000, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial. Yes, on myself. Bet that's going to be weird. But we'll see how we go and what we choose to do. And on that note, you were probably wondering what we have been doing over the past two weeks. Well, we have been getting ready for a con. The first cosplay orientated con in South Africa called KenCon. And we hope there are going to be many, many more. Next week we'll be going over there to take a look and see what's going on. Uh, Emmy will be competing, we'll be recording that as well, so we'll be bringing that to you. But for now, let's take a look at the stuff I have been building. If you guys have been watching our Facebook page, you would know that we have been working on the Claire outfit. So where are we with that? Let me show you. Well, this is the leather sleeve for the quick sword arm. Uh, this is made of nappa leather, nappa skin, so it looks pretty spiff. Moving on, we've also done the collar. It's also made of nappa skin. Pretty tough piece to make, believe it or not, even though it looks so simple. Also, the boots. This is a standard pair of black boots that was sprayed silver with EVA foam and Smooth Cross 65D to cover that foam or plasticize the foam. Looks pretty hot, I'd say. Also, we've done the battle skirt. Now, what I've done with a battle skirt is I have put it onto this leather band, if you will. So it can be clipped, easily clipped on and clipped off. Let's just say uh, convenience when going to the loop. Also, the cuff, which is also EVA foam with Smooth Glass 65D, and this, the hand armor which was cast out of smooth cast as well. Also, this is the leather top of clay. This is also made of nappa skin leather. Then we have the harness. This is the harness that I made that gets the chest pieces clipped to and obviously the sword carry and the pauldrons will be attached to this. A big thanks to Catherine from God Save the Queen Fashions, who I actually borrowed this idea from. And that is where we are. Let's go outside and take a look at the actual bucks that I'm making for the pauldrons. Whoosh. Right, well, here we are outside where I do a lot of my sanding and stuff. And these are the vacuform bucks that I've been making for the clear armor. This is obviously the pauldron. This is the inner piece that goes inside there. And obviously, the sword carry. I still need to sand a little bit of that down. And then we will be vacuum forming this. Uh, I'm almost finished with the vacuum form machine. You just have to build the heating section. Once I've got that done, I'm gonna show you how I suck these suckers. Right, so here we are back in the garage, studio, whatever. And uh, this is the vacuum forming table that I have built. A uh, big shout out to X Robots, uh, X Robots at CO.UK, UK, down here. If you want to see how to build one of these, check him out. He gives you a really, really good rundown of what he did. Let me bring you in a little bit closer so that I can show you more or less how this whole thing is set up. Right, so this is the table. Uh, the area is 728 holes drilled in this table, all by hand. And what's going to happen is when we heat up the plastic, we're going to put it in the frame and suck air through this lot through that vacuum cleaner which will then suck the plastic down well that's the theory I haven't tested this yet we're gonna see if it works together how do we heat up the plastic well come over this side in there is a two bar heater that is a thousand two hundred watts which is a little under what X robots used well actually a lot but what we have here is a wooden box with silver foil wrapped around the inside which will allow the heat to be reflected all the way around to the top of here and you can get an even heat distribution. The wood won't set a light for those of you that think it will because the silver foil will stop that happening. To bring the plastic in, right, what we have over here are wooden frames. We have bolts that 
Oops, come over here. We have bolts that bolt through both these two frames together using wing nuts. And obviously, between we have some rubber. And what that rubber does is it will help clamp the plastic down so it doesn't shift when you actually put it over the form. So I say let's fire this puppy up, see how it goes. Fail or not, you guys are going to join me in celebration or tears. Right, so there's our piece of plastic which is now clamped into the frame. Always have the glossy side up. So, turn on the heater. It'll take about 30 to 40 seconds to heat up. Thank you note, when doing this, don't walk away from this contraption. You don't want multi plastic to fall on your heater and burn your house down. Now, if you feel this, if you were, if this was a feeler vision, you feel this is actually pretty uniformly heated up and it's kind of hot on the hands, so we can seat our plastic over the top. Just line this way up. And there we go. And you can see it's quite elastic. You can poke it. So I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to giving this boy a shot. So, back and clean her on. Basically, as you saw, the first pull was not successful because it was a new pull all the way down. So what I've done is I've added a mesh on here and we are going to give it shot number two. Also, a good idea is have a watch handy. And here we go, a perfect pull of the Claire Cauldron. Just something to keep in mind, we are using a lower wattage heat here. This is a 1200 watt. So it took six minutes to heat the styling plastic up enough to get a perfect pull. For you guys sitting in the US where you cannot use a 2000 watt heater like you would see in X robots, and you have to use a 1200, just remember, six minutes seems to be the magic number. This is where I'm gonna be ending off. I'm going to have to cut these out, I have a bunch more of these to pull out and uh, we will be coming back next time or sometime in the future to show you the actual completed clear costume with and everything. Hope you're looking forward to that. Next week we're going to be going out to KimCon, so that video will be the next one that we are going to upload to show you what the first actual cosplay orientated con looks like in South Africa. See you guys next time.